Dear ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce my presentation, a not matrix fuel with isolated arrangement of plutonium dioxide or minor actinides to achieve ultra high burn up. A not matrix fuel is considered as one of the variants for the incineration of excess plutonium and minor actinides in fast or thermal reactors. We propose to replace ceramics inert matrix of pelletized design that features low serviceability and dust forming road or fuel element fabrication on dispersion type fuel element with metallic matrices metallurgically bonded with cladding. Dispersion type fuel elements with metal matrices as a distinct from the traditional pelletized fuel elements have a number of advantages. They are a low temperature of a fuel center high irradiation resistance, visibility of extended burn-ups and technological merits, minimum dust forming operations with plutonium. While developing novel types of inert matrix fuel elements, we were guided by the following criteria. Fuel elements should be serviceable at the maximum burn-up of up to 200 megawatts day per kilogram uranium. Reliability and safety of a fuel element, high irradiation, and corrosion resistance comply with the requirements for rock fuel and simple technology. One of the versions of dispersion type inert matrix fuel that now is under development at Bachvar Institute is a fuel element having a heat conducting metal matrix and isolated arrangement of plutonium dioxide in a fuel mini element. The main distinction and advantage of such a fuel element consists in the fact that plutonium dioxide or minor actinides powder is separately arranged in fuel mini elements that in their turn are placed inside a fuel element. The space between the fuel mini elements and the fuel cladding is filled with zirconium matrix alloy using impregnation or capillary impregnation methods. And for now let's have a look at inert matrix fuel design and fabrication technology. A fuel mini element is a thin wall stainless steel tube. It's filled with plutonium dioxide powder or granules, sealed and placed with fuel element. The volume fraction of plutonium dioxide in a fuel element might be varied from 5 to 25 percent, which is enough for the fast reactor fuel element aside from plutonium dioxide. Also, oxides of other actinides might be loaded into a fuel mini element. A fuel mini element has the following function. To prevent fuel from interaction with the matrix and cladding as well as providing protection against corrosion, as a barrier against fission products release and to accommodate fuel swelling. The fuel mini elements are inserted into fuel cladding, followed by the filling with matrix granule and liquid solid sintering. After fuel element, fabrication and melting temperature of the zirconium matrix alloy increases up to 1100 degrees. The advantage of this design lies in the fact that the number of the main dust forming operations with plutonium in the fuel element fabrication is reduced to a single one, filling mini elements with powder or granules. The other operations are carried on in the clean zones. Aside from this, the fuel free spaces of a mini element serve to accommodate swelling of fuel. The fuel is protected against the interaction with the matrix and coolant. Fuel element simulators of similar designs clad in stainless steel in which uranium dioxide was used in place of plutonium dioxide were successfully in pile tested. This fuel could result in high single cycle transuranium burn fraction, reduce fuel throughput and long transmutation core cycles, all factors that could improve burner reactor economics. In conclusion, I would like to say Thank to all my colleagues, especially Dr. Savchenko and Professor Vatulin, and thank you for your attention.